This week, how to say I love you to your partner every single day. Welcome to a funny thing happened on the way to the funeral, my intriguing, funny, outrageous, and sublime stories about estates. A Hollywood story you don't hear very often. Mary Livingston, whose real name was Sadia Markovitz, and Jack Benny, whose real name was Benjamin Kabelski, were married almost 50 years. Jack Benny, the more famous of the two, but very famous together. They met in Vancouver because Jack Benny was there for a Passover Seder with none other than Zeppo Marx. In any event, they marry in 1927, and they have one daughter, uh, Joan Naomi Kabelski, who herself was an actress. Jack Benny's main rise to fame was on radio. The Jack Benny program was must-listen-to radio in America from 1932 to 1955. 23 years on the air, not a bad run. Mary was a regular on the show, a regular sidekick to Jack. There followed another 10 years or so on TV. Uh, the Jack Benny show on television was dropped in 1964 by CBS because he got beat by the Gomer Pyle show. Okay, if you're under 50, you probably don't know who Mary Livingston and Jack Benny were. Trust me, very, very famous for over 40 years in America. That's a photo of uh, Danny Thomas, Jack Benny, and Bob Hope. Of course, if you don't know who Jack Benny is, you likely don't know who Danny Thomas or Bob Hope are either. Anyway, trust me, famous. Jack Benny's shtick was that he was an awful violinist, which he wasn't. Uh, and his final appearance on television, that's this photograph, was in 1974 in a television special, and that was the year he died, 1974. Mary Livingston died nine years later in 1983. And here is the capper to their lifelong love story and marriage of almost 50 years. After Jack Benny's death, a florist delivered one long-stemmed red rose to Mary every day for the rest of her life. In Mary Livingston's words, I learned that Jack actually had included a provision in his will that one red stemmed red rose would be delivered to me every day for the rest of my life. I'm not crying, you're crying. You don't hear a story like that out of Hollywood very often. Fun fact, I don't play violin, but I was a radio broadcaster for just over 20 years. Jack Benny beat me by 